In this video, we're going to talk about change of basis. So let's say a vector space has two bases, b with vectors b1 through bn, and c with vectors c1 through cn. From what we've learned before, any vector x in v can be expressed as a vector in rn. Now, if we have the basis b, then we can find the b-coordinate vector for x. And if I have a basis c, then I can also find the c-coordinate vector for x. So what we'll be learning to do is to convert from one coordinate system to the other. For example, if I have the b-coordinate vector for x, I want to be able to find the c-coordinates for x, and vice versa. Let's start by looking at an example. So here we have two bases for the vector space v, b with vectors b1, b2, and c with vectors c1, c2. Suppose that we know that b1 can be written as 2c1 minus c2, and b2 can be written as negative 3c1 plus 4c2. If the b-coordinate vector for x is 5, 3, what is the c-coordinate for x? So since the b-coordinate for x is 5, 3, I know that x can be written as a linear combination of the vectors b1 and b2. Specifically, x is equal to 5 times b1 plus 3 times b2. Now if I want to find the c-coordinate vector for x, then I need to write x as a linear combination of the basis vectors c1 and c2. Now since I can write b1 in terms of c1 and c2, and b2 in terms of c1 and c2, I'm going to make a substitution. So I have x equals 5 times 2c1 minus c2 plus 3 times negative 3c1 plus 4c2. Now when we simplify this, we get 5 times 2 plus 3 times negative 3 times c1 plus 5 times negative 1 plus 3 times 4 c2. So I've now written x as a linear combination of c1 and c2. And the weights, 5 times 2 plus 3 times negative 3, and 5 times negative 1 plus 3 times 4, those are the c-coordinates for x. So we have that the c-coordinate vector for x is 5 times 2 plus 3 times negative 3 as the top entry, and 5 times negative 1 plus 3 times 4 for the bottom entry. So if we simplify this, we see that the c-coordinate vector for x is 1, 7. If we look at the c-coordinate vector for x more closely, you may notice that it can be written as a product of a matrix times a vector. So here we can write this as the matrix 2, negative 3, negative 1, 4 times the vector 5, 3. And again, when you compute this matrix multiplication, you get the vector 1, 7. So 1, 7 is the c-coordinate vector for x. Let's look at how we got this again. We have the product of a matrix times a vector. Now you may notice that this vector 5, 3 is the b-coordinate vector for x. Now what can we say about the matrix here? Well, if we look back to the beginning, we wrote that b1 is 2 times c1 minus c2. I can think of this statement as saying that the c-coordinates for b1 are 2, negative 1. Similarly, we know that b2 can be written as negative 3c1 plus 4c2, which means that the c-coordinates for b2 are negative 3, 4. Now you may notice that these vectors that we've just written are the columns of my matrix. So what we have is that the c-coordinate vector for x is equal to the matrix with columns c-coordinates for b1 and c-coordinates for b2 times the b-coordinates for x. This matrix, whose columns are the c-coordinates of the basis vectors b1 and b2, is called the change of coordinates matrix from b to c. Let me define what we learned in our previous example. If I have two bases, b with vectors b1 through bn, and c with vectors c1 through cn, then the c-coordinate vector for x is equal to the matrix p, b to c times the b-coordinate vector for x, where the matrix p from b to c 
is a matrix with columns consisting of the C coordinate vector for V1 through to the C coordinate vector for Bn. This matrix P from B to C is called the change of coordinates matrix from B to C. Moreover, if we want to convert the other way around, I have that the B coordinate vector for X is equal to P from B to C inverse times the C coordinate vector for X. So let's look at some examples. So here we have two bases for a vector space V, B with vectors B1 and B2, and C with vectors C1 and C2. Suppose that we know the following relationship, that B1 is equal to C1 plus 3C2, and B2 is equal to 2C1 plus 4C2. In part A, we're asked to find the change of coordinates matrix P from B to C. So from the definition, we know that P from B to C is a matrix where the first column is the C coordinate vector of B1 and the second column is the C coordinate vector of B2. Now we can find these out by looking at the relationships B1 equals C1 plus 3C2. So here we see that the C coordinate vector for B1 is 1, 3, because those are the weights of the linear combination. And from this relationship, B2 equals 2C1 plus 4C2, we see that the C coordinate vector for B2 is 2, 4. So putting those two vectors into a matrix, I get 1, 3, and 2, 4. So that's my change of coordinates matrix from B to C. In part B, we're given that the B coordinate vector for X is 3, negative 2, and we're asked to find the C coordinate vector for X. From above, we have that the C coordinate vector for X is equal to the matrix P from B to C times the B coordinate vector for X. Well, that's going to be the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 times the vector 3, negative 2. If we compute that, the top entry is 3 times 1 plus negative 2 times 2, and the bottom entry is 3 times 3 plus negative 2 times 4. So the result is 3 plus negative 4, which is negative 1, and on the bottom, 9 minus 8, which gives me positive 1. So the C coordinate vector for x is negative 1, 1. In this last part, we're given that the C coordinate vector for Y is negative 1, 5, and we're asked to find the B coordinate vector for Y. To convert from C coordinates to B coordinates, I want to use this equation here. So first, I need to find the inverse of the change of coordinates matrix from B to C. Since P from B to C is a 2 by 2 matrix, its inverse is relatively easy to find. So P from B to C inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant. In this case, that's going to be 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3 times the matrix where you flip the diagonal entries and negate the off diagonal entries. So we have 4, negative 2, negative 3, 1. 1 over the determinant is 1 over negative 2. And when I multiply that into the matrix, I get negative 2, positive 1, positive 3 halves, and then negative 1 half. So now we're ready to find the B coordinate vector for Y. We have that the B coordinate vector for Y is equal to P from B to C inverse times the C coordinates for Y. That's the matrix negative 2, 1, 3 halves, negative 1 half times the vector negative 1, 5. If we do this matrix multiplication, we end up with 7, negative 4. So this tells me that if the C coordinate vector for Y is negative 1, 5, then the B coordinates for Y are 7, negative 4. So that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll look at how to change between B coordinates and C coordinates if we don't know the relationships between the B vectors and the C vectors.